Recent reports from Al Jazeera suggest that there is tension between Niger and France following a military coup on July 26th. According to Colonel Amadou Abdraman, a spokesman for Niger's coup leaders, France has dispatched troops and equipment to Senegal, Ivory Coast and Benin, which he claims is part of preparations for an aggression against Niger, which it is planning in collaboration with this community organization. He said France was continuing to deploy its forces in member countries of the economic community of West African states, ECOWAS, as part of preparations for an aggression against Niger, which it is planning in collaboration with this community organization. French military cargo aircraft have enabled large quantities of war material and equipment to be unloaded in Senegal, Ivory Coast and Benin, to name but a few, he said. In recent developments, a claim has been made amidst rising tensions between Niger and France, its former colonial ruler. These tensions have been exacerbated by a military coup that occurred on July 26th. The deposed President Mohamed Bazoum has received support from Paris which has refused Niger's demands to withdraw its troops and envoy from the Sahel state. The situation continues to escalate, and it remains to be seen how it will be resolved. Niger is also embroiled in a standoff with the ECOWAS bloc, which has threatened to intervene militarily if diplomatic pressure to return Bazoum to office fails. In Niamey, meanwhile, Thousands of people have been holding near-daily demonstrations around a military base housing French soldiers to demand their departure. France has about 1,500 soldiers in the country as part of a wider fight against Al-Qaeda and ISIL, ISIS, linked groups. Amid the tensions, the AFP news agency reported on Tuesday that Paris was in talks with the military over withdrawing elements of its presence in Niger. It cited a French defense ministry source. The military appointed Prime Minister Ali Mahaman Lamin Zain has also said that discussions were underway about a very swift departure of France's troops. Zaina also said on Monday that his government wanted to maintain cooperation with a country with which we have shared a great deal and added that he was also hopeful of coming to an agreement with ECOWAS. The United States, which has about 1,100 soldiers in Niger, has begun to relocate its troops as a precaution from Niamey to the central city of Agadez, the U.S. Department of Defense said this week. The situation in Niger continues to simmer after its coup in July, but Niger's fate is not only up to its new military leaders. Regional bloc ECOWAS held a summit in Ghana on Thursday and Friday to discuss the next steps. Now, a majority of its member states are ready to take up arms, but ECOWAS is still pushing for a peaceful return to civilian rule. So, with potential peace or full-blown war hanging in the balance, what's next for Niger? Let us know in the comments below.